An oil that helps with pain and inflammation and arthritis. It may be helpful for your dogs and your cats. We're gonna be doing a before and after on me. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Hello, welcome back to Veterinary Secrets. I've got this little problem to share. Tula's gonna share it with me. I've got this crazy pain. Ugh. Oh, on here, like just the whole lower arch of my foot, especially right in here where it attaches to the heel. Regardless, I've got a condition called plantar fasciitis. Whoa, sounds pretty bad. Inflammation of a bunch of soft tissue, like that happens with a 50 plus crowd. Things start breaking down. Hmm, what are my options? This oil here, it's called castor oil. It comes from the castor bean. Most people would be aware of it as it's used as a natural laxative, you know, both in people and in our dogs and cats. But there's an ingredient in castor oil called ricinoleic acid, which is a really effective natural anti-inflammatory. The anti-inflammatory properties of castor oil have been studied, been shown to be effective. But is this really gonna work on your dog, your cat? Hmm. You know what? I, I don't know. I've never actually used castor oil uh, for arthritic pain. So before we say whether this is going to work or not, good for your dogs or cats, we need a guinea pig, aka me, my oh, <laughs> me, and my foot. I don't mean that. That's, that wasn't mean. That's too a squeaky toy. You stay here, good girl. You press it here, and I don't. Know if out like that's like a real grimace like it okay it's sore so if this thing is gonna work it should work on my foot right I am gonna put castor oil on this foot and I'm gonna put it on four times today let's do our first treatment I'm just gonna stick it on the affected area so it's gonna be called castor oil before and after In 24 hours what do I think here is said foot this is the area that is most painful where the soft tissue is attaching to the heel this plantar fasciitis when I put some pressure on here with my thumb it is definitely less painful has all the pain gone away no but is it more comfortable yes so what do I think about this stuff does this castor oil work Yeah, it works. I mean, I, I didn't do anything else. I didn't stretch. I didn't give myself any other anti-inflammatory. I didn't do anything different. Nothing else. I just, just wanted to try this. And it hasn't even been 24 hours. Is it like the magic cure? Is it gonna cure every problem that your dog or your cat has, i.e. Topical, uh, topical arthritis treatment? No, I don't think so. But do I think it's like another arsenal to add in there? You bet I do. And if you have a dog and or a cat who's got a localized area of pain, say their wrist, go ahead and try using castor oil. The other big thing is if said a dog licks it, i.e. the poodle here, it's okay. It's not going to harm her. It'll make things move through her easier, but it's not going to do her any harm. There you go, poodle. Ta-da. What do you think of all that now? Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.